better. So I'm starting this vlog with um, an official beginning because I feel like my other vlogs <clears throat> have been a bit haphazard because I feel like I've been really unorganized with everything going on. So I'm going to try and be more kind of less moving around all the time. I still will do that, I'm sure. I didn't mean to dress like my living room today, but I have like literally um <laughs> but i'm really really pleased with the new cupboards um they're so they just <clears throat> completely elevate the whole room i think so i'm really really happy with them um and the office painting has begun <clears throat> excuse me um so i'm kind of in here today but that's fine i'm really happy to be because i can actually chill and it actually feels like a room and i can sit and i know there's been lots of living room content so i'm hoping you guys are enjoying it um once the office is done i can show you that hopefully in this vlog as well and then the bathroom begins uh next week so it's all a go <laughs> but it's all fun stuff um and thank you so much for your comments on the past vlog like i really really appreciate all your views and lovely comments about everything as well um i'm just so I'll, I'll show you these um cupboards properly now and what we're doing in the office as well look at this i'm overjoyed the mirror i promise is going up this week when i find a friend with a drill who can help me do it um but i'm so so happy with i'm still in my dressing gown busted hello um with the cupboards, I feel like it really elevates the room. Um, I'm gonna pop in now what it looked like before um, because I think it just, it looked not childish, but I think this looks like much more elegant and grown up, which I love. And it's also given me like the ability to um, hide lots of shit in here, basically. Um, just, you know, like add mini stuff, my air purifier, envelopes nail varnishes um this is stuff i'm getting rid of and a few too many dried flowers but you get the vibe it's just so great um to have these in here um just for the look as well as the storage i guess um and yeah it's starting to feel like a real home i got some lights on here let me pop them on um do, do, do. you know because oh god to be festive and yes there are still some boxes there that you might have to buy but that's because the office is being done which i'll show you in a sec so it wasn't although i emptied quite a few of them i then had to put more there from the office the ottoman from many many obsessed with i've just put the cushion on it because that's normally in on the leather chair in the office but i think it looks quite sweet like that um yeah I need to eventually burn this giant deep tea candle, which they very kindly sent me for my 30th. Um, maybe, maybe this Christmas is, is the time. Um, so yeah, feeling really chuffed to be honest. Feels like I can actually use and enjoy this room, which is um, what I had been wanting. So yeah, I told you I really am dressed like my living room, but I'm loving it, so I'm not sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just super happy with how these look. Um, I love that I've got, like I feel like they just really bring this whole area up and I've managed to fill them quite a lot as well. I mean, managed, <laughs> it wasn't hard, but I also got rid of loads of stuff last night. Um, I think because I had people pack for me, I didn't do that thing when you move, when you, go through everything so much like I did a bit but not like every single box and so I actually I think I could have bought stuff here um because I had the package which was amazing which made the move so much easier but um I've been getting rid of stuff here which is nice in a way because then these covers are probably like half the depth that I had in my old flat because I had the, the covers flanking um the breasts as well so um I'm just really like I just really don't want like any shit like I'm so over having loads of stuff as well um I like having those you know trinkets and stuff but I just used to have loads and I don't know I just like obviously I get sent so much stuff for work which is really nice but I'm just so so over having like excessive amounts of things like I think I used to find it like fun a bit but now I'm just like I just want everything to be like clean and calm 
and like obviously have cupboards with stuff in. I don't want to look my house look like a showroom, but I also um, am much more aware of not having loads of um, clutter, I guess, which I think before I thought was like, look, not cool, but like, you know, I have stuff in my travels and obviously I've got, you know, little bits that I'll keep as mementos, but like I just don't need the amount that I, that I had perhaps. Um, so trying to do that and also because I have less storage here, like I can't just like easily hide it and be like whatever, if I can't see it, like I can. So um, being aware of that, I guess. These are also like the absolute comfiest leggings, they're merino wool. Um, sorry if I've got BPL, I'm wearing like the biggest grand monikers today. They're so, so cozy. I feel like I'm, I'm going skiing. <laughs> No, I really do blend in. I didn't mean to do this, I promise. So I got some more bow work colors, but they also don't seem quite right. So I'm just like quite undecided still on like what I'm gonna do with the kitchen. So at the risk of adding something into the shot that's exactly the same color that's <laughs> as everything else, I'm trying to decide on um, the curtain colors today. I think um, I've always had linen curtains and I do really like that vibe but I think I want it to be a bit more like luxurious I suppose um, and obviously I'm in London obviously I want the light to be able to come through them so these kind of cotton weave ones you can kind of um, you can still get the light through them um, but I'm just trying to decide on the colour because the thing is with dimity on the walls is I don't want it to not look white like I want it to just be really warm white I don't want it to obviously be white so I don't want to have too many white things obviously the sofa is a bit white but I've also got that throw on it but I also don't want to get one that's like just blends in um, I mean I might order some more fabrics and see if I want actually maybe a darker shade or something but I do just quite so this one is ivory I think is the one that I like the most um, so they would go here so I'm just kind of like putting it against here but like that just like blends in god I do love it though but it is like that so it would be has got a bit of a texture to it so a cotton weave these are from stitched um which I do like, like quite warm to have that um, that texture, I guess. But the thing I just don't like maybe is that it's kind of exactly the same color. But then again, since I'm having it covering this whole wall, maybe it's kind of nice that it's not a noticeably different color. Um, so just trying to, cause then the white maybe looks a bit too white. Like, oh, I don't know, but maybe that's a good choice. So that's what I'm trying to do right now, basically, um, because um, I had some other samples as well. Um, and I, I do have these darker ones, I suppose. Um, and that, so this is the linen and it is really quite textured, but maybe that's quite nice. Yes, as you can see, I don't know. And I'm just texting my sister to ask her opinion, <laughs> basically. Okay, so this is after day one. It's still pretty dark because it's like eight in the morning and it's winter. So this is the paint I'm using. I'm using, I chose rather from um, Lick. It's pink 01 and I've got a new eggshell one. So I'm doing eggshell on these bits, but matte on the wall. Um, and this is one coat um, yesterday and we're gonna put another one on. So it, it doesn't look pink, but when you say pink, you suddenly see the pink highlights on it. <laughs> it's what I found, which I really like because it makes it really lovely and warm. Okay, so the painting is finished and it looks luscious. I'm so, so happy with this job. I just um, mopped the floors and started moving some bits back in because um, it was a bit dusty just after the painting, which is normal, but I'm just so excited that I can finally unpack in here. Um, it's quite a lot of stuff, <laughs> um, but it's gonna be hopefully nice and organized. I can finally actually put this on the wall, which I never have, which is amazing. Although, because it's going to be for beauty products, I'm thinking maybe above the radiator isn't actually the best idea, but I'm going to see how I feel about that. Um, and then, well, because I could always put it here, I'm going to get a rod so I can put some linen curtains here. The mirror's going here. I'm going to put a rug in. Oh, so nice. It suddenly feels really, really. So I did the ceiling in the same color too, which I did in the lounge also. And as my sister correctly said, it makes it feel super like cozy but also because this ceiling, like there's lots of like chopping and changes and like that's not, it wasn't a perfect line and stuff. So I didn't want that to, your eye to, I guess, to be drawn up there. Obviously there's still the shadow and you can still see it, but it kind of, if that had been white and this had been this color, which I know looks white, <laughs> but it, it would have looked a white is that, if you see what I mean. Um, 
to make it feel quite cozy and also kind of not draw your eye to the kind of like weird shape of this room because it like changes a whole load. So little things I'm doing. This isn't even painted yet. This is in my bedroom. It's the Eve storage. Not painted properly yet. It was this colour. So we just put a base coat on. Um, but I'm just changing the handles because I look at this every morning and think that looks gross. Got my UU bottle on. Realities. Just got to take these out. So the bathroom starts next week as well. So I will then, though I have the other rooms, I will then lose kind of. You're in the, the plant, as I'm sure you can guess. Most of the access to my bedroom because the bathroom goes off my bedroom. Ta da! Just unscrewing this. I just got these off Etsy. They're really. You need to find loads of them. Just little doorknobs and handles. I need to do it in the kitchen as well, but I wanted to like test it with these two. Woo! So much nicer. Um, there's still, oh yeah. This room isn't painted, but <laughs> I will still do little things like that while I can. Pretty inexpensive. I think they were like six pounds on Etsy. Good morning from the office. So it is now Friday. Um, I just got out of the shower and I'm looking like this, but look at my office. Okay, so it looks really cute here, like all the background, but then because it's like Christmas stuff for beauty, it's like a bit out of control there, but out of sight, out of mind <laughs> in this shot. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. I only slept really well in like the last two hours of my sleep, hence my um, eye mask that I've just popped on because I keep them in the fridge and thought it'd be nice with my coffee but let me show you the room it's much more interesting than my sleep schedule um so this is my West Elm rug that I got from um which I had in my last flat it's absolutely beautiful um I was a bit worried that the pink of this would be a bit much of the pink of the um curtains but honestly so far I'm not hating it they don't feel like this isn't like I don't know I'm just gonna see how I go it just it just adds so much like coziness in here and I feel like I can like sit on the floor in here and stuff um although it did look very cool and minimal with like without it um but obviously I can roll that up quite easily um so yeah this these <laughs> this is the Christmas stuff um for work so we won't look at those we'll just go in a bit further there we go much nicer um so this is my beautiful teak Danish sideboard that I got from Vinteria also for my last flat I haven't actually had to buy too much um or really any furniture because um i my last place that i was renting i got um i had unfurnished so i kind of furnished it that's my gorgeous Fla francis glory costello i'll put a link to her below um she's amazing and i absolutely love this print it's one of my favorites and i love the color of that with the the color of the teak as well a little west elm mirror that's also a west elm lamp that's also a west elm chair i love west elm sorry not sorry um so i've put this here which is obviously really handy to have on the actual wall finally, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea having loads of beauty products above a radiator. So I'm going to see how I go. I might put like a mantle on here, a gold, uh, a gold mantle. Who do I think I am? A marble mantle. Um, or I might get a fancy radiator. You can get these things called like column ones, which just look nicer just because it's basically like on a pedestal and almost like a feature of the room. I want it to look nicer. Popped one of my prints there, because I could also put this here, but then I'm like, is that weird to have it lower? I don't know. So I'm going to see, so I'm going to put some shelves here, um, which are coming um, at the moment. So yeah, I'm basically, um, <laughs> I'm getting rid of lots of this stuff this weekend. So um, not getting rid, giving it, because um, obviously I'm very lucky to be sent this. So obviously I can't have that all for myself. Um, and then it's really lovely because I have a corridor. Um, so I still need to get a lamp for there and there's still kind of a bit of paint being stored there, but I have like the hallway coming up from the, the, um, the down, well, the entrance. Um, so just put some cute little bits here. Um, and I've been here a month now, which is crazy because that means, I don't know, it feels like home finally. So, which is funny because obviously then the, the, my bathroom that goes off my bedroom starts on Monday. So it's Friday today. Um, so then it will, it, not that it won't feel like home, but I'll be kind of a bit <laughs> all over the place again. So I'm trying to like appreciate 
having the house essentially how I want it downstairs anyway. Um, oh, look at my drawing. But oh, I got rid of the chest of drawers that was here as well, which is good. And in here is just looking really great. Apparently it's about 9 a.m., but it's like almost, it's just still so dark. Uh, I'm not going to have this anymore. I'm going to get rid of that as well because um, I've got a new one. I think I'm going to put um, this lamp in the office because I've got a, like a kind of taller one um, coming soon. Um, and all my little trinkets. Um, and this is like the best. Oh, let's not share personal information of mine. Um, this is the best Urkel vintage table from um, eBay, which I absolutely love um, because it has the drop down sides, which is great when you don't want to like have a huge, huge um, table. So yeah, getting there. <laughs> Hi. Would you look at that? I got dressed. It's a Christmas miracle. I'm wearing jeans. Jeans. Because I'm going to town. It's very exciting because I've felt a bit like I've been saying <laughs> like a, not a, pr a prisoner in my own house, but because when the painters are here and the people that are doing the cupboards, obviously I don't want to leave. Like that seems kind of like homeowning fault 101 um or mistake 101 um so when i have been getting out and there's about three days of daylight in london at the moment <laughs> three days three hours sorry three hours of daylight in london at the moment so i've you know i don't really want to go walking in the forest when it's dark in east london i just don't think i'm going to do that so i'm very excited because lockdown is over we're still in a tier but um i can go to central i'm having a facial um i'm going to see some of my friends um who live in west london who have babies um i'm gonna go for a walk um so i'm very excited um feels weird that i haven't done that for so long i guess um but i mean <laughs> this year right um so i wanted to say also the guy that painted um so lick did the um the color in the office which i really really love um pink 01 um and i did it on ceiling walls and the skirting did the eggshell on the skirting but he was saying you know it's the like classic thing of like people that are building that are like um oh like who did this they did a really bad job but he was like, oh, who painted this door? Like, did you have professional painters do it? And I was like, yeah. He was like, well, they didn't take off the, because um, he was doing the other side of it that was in the office. Um, apparently, I'm just letting you guys know because I had no idea and it actually makes complete sense. And now it's annoying me that I didn't know this. You're meant, so something like this, you meant, because obviously there's screws, you're meant to like take that off when you paint it, but like it hasn't been done here and now I'm annoyed. But I did kind of figure out last night that I can kind of, um, sand it a bit to remove it um because i was doing it on this switch as well see like that bit there but i managed to actually get quite a lot of on the top same with plugs um and that's still got a bit of the old color there but i actually sanded here's my little bit of sanding paper you can actually like remove quite a lot of it just with a little bit of sanding paper to make it look really like See, look, can you see how that's going to make it look really good? Um, so I'm going to keep kind of doing that because I'm annoyed that I didn't know that. Oh, I'm all red. Oh, I'm hot. That's my exercise <laughs> levels. Um, so yeah, we did lick a one. Let me show you. I think I have, but I'm just going to show you again in case. Um, in here, so you can see in the daylight, it looks... If you just walked in, you'd be like, this is a white room which is what I kind of like, I kind of have everywhere. But when I say it's it's pink with a grey undertone, suddenly you're like, oh yeah, it is. Um, and that's what I like about it. And I think also because I've got the pink things in here, um, like the rug and the um, curtains, um, that it kind of just goes nicely with them. So it's this one. Um, it actually kind of looks pinker on the tin. Maybe, probably not. Um, so yeah, Pink 01, which I think is one of their new ones. Um, and yeah, really, really happy with it. And happy that I can like, where can I put you down? Here yeah, maybe. I can like be in the office. I can shoot here, I can sit here, I can go through products here, I can do my work, I can vlog. <laughs> 
and I can be out of focus, so many great things I can do. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty chuffed. I'm enjoying it now because I know that I'm gonna have to be, have to be, shut up. Um, I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be like living downstairs for like the next two weeks because the bathroom is being done off my bedroom. Um, which obviously I think I can sleep in there, but I'm gonna have to like move my bed just so that they can get around more easily. And it's just because they're literally like doing demolition and stuff. So it's gonna be sandy. Um, but hopefully that means before Christmas, I will have done pretty much everything that I wanna do this year. Um, which was, I did the floors in here. Oh yeah, let me give you a rundown of prices because I'm really happy to share the prices because when I was looking, I could find absolutely no estimates anywhere of what I wanted done in London. So I think there's loads of like Aussie things and US things. So the floors in here, obviously this is all, I share all the prices and who I use on my flat Instagram, flat, up, flat upstairs. I'll put, pop the link just below for you. Um, so you can save those for ease of going back to. Um, the floors in here, because I ripped up, I ripped up the carpet. My brother and I ripped up the carpet, but I mean like not professional did. Um, then I had them sanded, filled, tinted. You guys can see the whole process on the Instagram. That was 900 quid. Then Lick very kindly painted this room for me, which is very sweet of them. Um, but their paints are super affordable, so I'll pop a link to them below as well. Um, then the painting with the furrow and ball, dimity that I had in the hallway, the living room, the staircase that goes up to my bedroom and will, they will eventually also within this price is included my bedroom, but they haven't done it yet because we said that's better to do that after the bathroom. That was 1700 pounds. And then the cupboards was 900 pounds. Maybe the floors were 800. Yeah, sorry, I mixed the two up. The floors were 800, just 100 difference. And the cupboards I had done were were 900 plus the materials because they were the same guys that painted this area for me. Um, see, like it's quite high and staircasey, and they did all the of that. Um, so the cupboards were, um, you know, just because I want to show them to you again. <laughs> um, 900. So I'm really pretty happy with. Um, I think they were done really well. Like, I'm really chuffed with how they, they came out, as you know. So um, I think that's a pretty good price. Um, and then the bathroom, I'll kind of take you through that pricing when I do it, I guess. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I take some before shots of the bathroom um, so that I can share that with you guys too. Um, I mean, you've seen the bathroom, I've, I've, I've shown you it in previous vlogs, but um, just ugh, I can't wait to do a real good swipe of the like bad bathroom and then the glorious after hopefully well I was just looking at my um sorry this is like a super long entry but I'm feeling chatty because I'm going to town I'm so, so exciting this is my very exciting um tap <laughs> yes so um, I had to get a different one to the one that I had originally um, sample board with my sister. She's at Honor Oak Park. I'll pop a link to her below. She's amazing. She is a fashion designer, but she recently did an interior design course and I trust her with my life um, and my house. <laughs> um, so we couldn't, the one that I wanted to get was out of stock for like months. So I was like, I want to do the bathroom tuner. So I got this one, which, so that will be like that. So it's going to be like a massive sink. Um, and then these kind of like come here. So like these are like, they're like turning on. Um, and I'm quite actually happy that in a way it was a blessing in disguise because actually I really like that like this, so this will be in the wall. You'll just see like the three front bits. I really like um, actually having two because the other one just had one. And whilst I like that, I actually, it was maybe a bit too moderny. Obviously I know this isn't, this is quite modern. It's lovely um, brushed brass, I think. It's by these guys. Um, yeah, so I'm just like trying to, I need to like measure everything. My sister has, but I just want to do it IRL as well um, to check that all this with the sink and everything and the height in my bathroom will fit with the cabinet that I'm getting as well. Um, so yeah, that's me for today. Oh God, next is the kitchen walls. Oh, like literally they make me look ill because they're so cold. <laughs> I'm 
blaming the walls, not the light. Um, oh, and this is the fridge. I don't know if I showed you the fridge. Someone was saying they want to see the fridge. Ta-da! I unpacked this and put it in there. My fucking self. That was the moment I became an adult. It was quite stressful. Um, and my bike Rosie is in here as well because um, her back tire went when I was moving and I've just decided to have her in here because the corridor when you come in is quite small. Um, but I am going to get her fixed now that it's, we're out of lockdown because I can actually use her to go to Pilates and stuff like that. So I'm going to stop talking because it's been nearly 10 minutes now. You know I love some direct sunlight and I'm weirdly getting some. It's Sunday now and it was absolutely pissing it down earlier but I just wanted to show you because Christmas tree. I feel so festive. Um, and it's probably a bit too big, but you know what? I love it. So I went with these white company lights. They're really delicate and I really like them. Um, they're like little clusters like that and just some mini baubles. I forgot I had them and then just a ribbon at the top. Um, keep it minimal, but still lovely and festive. And, and I can just enjoy it. And a bit of sun randomly, which is kind of a bit distracting. There we go, you can have my tree in the background. Ah, oh! ah, oh, don't you love it when the light hits like that? Unexpected December sunshine, always here for it. Um, and you can see I got rid of the drawers, which I hadn't shared. Obviously everything's been a bit shoved up now because of the tree. <laughs> Obviously it's a bit big, but I kind of love it there. Um, and I've got basically no boxes. <gasps> Last three boxes, I am wearing trackies. Sorry, not sorry. I went for a walk and wanted to get comfy when I got back because it's freezing. Ottoman is looking good. Um, so I'm going to sign this vlog off here. Thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe. Um, and the bathroom starts tomorrow. So next week, hopefully, if stuff has actually happened, I think I will be able to do a vlog because um, they've told me that enough should have happened by this week. But as I've learned, as you guys have known, <laughs> that's not always the case. So I'm going to wait and see. But I will definitely, obviously, all be sharing on Instagram. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of Sunday.